My name is Amy and I am on the frequent flyer plan of social media. I'm on Instagram, I'm on LinkedIn, TikTok, and Facebook. I take my phone with me everywhere. I love my phone. I take it to the bathroom, I take it to work. I find that the loneliness comes on strongest at night. I'm typically driving home by myself. No one's there waiting for me. And so I get on my phone. It feels comforting and it feels safe. There are a lot of times when rather than going out with friends, I go home and I get on social media. The friends that I make online, they're not really my friends. And that, that's kind of empty. You do see a lot of glowing, happy, happy, happy romances. And at times it does remind me of what I don't have. My adult life has been laced with loss. I lost my mother, my father, my sister, and my brother. I do think the social media can have the effect of making me lonelier. It, it reminds me of things that I'm missing. I spend so much time on social media, and yet, at the end of the day, I'm alone. It's me and my phone. When people think about social media and jumping around, they tend to think about teens, but we all do it, right? Uh-huh. Definitely. And you, you said you wonder if being on social media is one of the reasons that you're lonely and not getting out with other people. I do wonder that. Well, do you really? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think it's somewhat obvious, yes. Um, but I work nights, I work a lot. And so it's an option of something to do. And in some ways, at first, I thought it was going to help me be less lonely because it was a form of a connection, but it's not a real connection. No, it's not. You don't know these people. Yeah, you get likes, clicks, little hearts, things like that. But you really don't, there's no connection, there's no warmth, and and you really have no idea who it really is, right? That's true too, and you don't know their tone. A lot of times people yeah. get offended or happy by something that is said to them, and that might yeah. not be the tone it's yeah. meant in. But isn't it easier mm -hmm. to keep your sweats on and your socks or your fuzzy house shoes and just sure. go back and forth? It is easier. Well, I think it's also in the post-COVID time that we're kind of in, not completely post, but after the crisis of COVID, we got used to that too. How do we entertain ourselves at home? Yeah. I will watch a movie and have my phone, have social media on my phone at the yeah. same time. I shouldn't be bored. You know, I've got both. You say it's safer than interacting with people in the real world. Why? Sometimes. Um, I don't know if that's true all the time. Um, but I can choose what I reveal about myself. I don't reveal a lot. My staff gives me feedback about people when they're interviewing and talking, and I get all kinds of information about sure. you before I meet you. And what everybody said about you is that you had a great personality. You were really engaging and warm and participative. They described you as being Thank like really fun to talk to and be around. Thank you. True. I I hope so. Yeah, I, I mean, think are so. You that way? I very much enjoyed the time I spent with your staff, and I enjoy my time with people. Yeah. I like connecting with people. And I like things live much better than virtual. Yeah, but you say a lot of times people ask you work related or whatever, like, hey, you want to go out afterwards or mm -hmm. whatever, and you go, yeah, true. Yeah, I'll go home and true. Just get on social media. And the more time you spend on social media, interestingly, the more at risk for, and the more you do actually obtain depression, anxiety, and loneliness. Mm -hmm. So the more time you spend on social media, as that screen time goes up, so does depression, anxiety, and loneliness. And wow. you can imply from that that's it's because it's crowding out other aspects of your life. Mm -hmm. Or you can misrepresent. Exactly. You can create a persona online that has nothing to do with what you're really like. Oh. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.